Stuart, one of the probes of determining the nature of theories of consciousness, in my opinion, is the question, can consciousness be non-biological? Can it be reproduced in other substrate? What do you think? As Penrose has suggested, objective reduction is occurring everywhere. So proto-conscious, undifferentiated moments are occurring ubiquitously uh, in the universe. Now, in our view, orchestrated objective reduction in microtubules gives rise to the rich consciousness experience. So could your consciousness be downloaded into some artificial medium, as the singularity folks have been saying for years, but without much luck, without uh, any, uh, any uh, progress whatsoever? If we bite the bullet and say that objective reduction and particularly orchestrated objective reduction is the medium of consciousness, uh, it could be happening in an alternative medium. You could, well, first of all, you could do an artificial medium of microtubules and do it that way, or you could do it in some other material that has the, the proper uh, properties. For example, fullerenes, uh, a, a computer made of nanotubes, of, of carbon fullerenes. As long as you have enough uh, mass superposition displacement to reach threshold in a reasonable time, or you just make it big enough so it'll, it'll happen more quickly. So it would sound like you're, you are saying that uh, consciousness can be duplicated in, in non-biological uh, substrates, but it would be much more difficult to do it on your theory of quantum consciousness than if, if consciousness is at the level of neuron, because you need a huge amount of more information. Some, in more inf to it's some more information. I think it actually would be easier in our view. I don't think it's ever gonna happen the way they're saying. For, first of all, they don't have a good model of consciousness and they don't have a good way to interface. Uh, not my question of whose model is better. I'm just looking at the amount of effort it would take with the amount of information. Why would it be take less information in your, in, in, in your case when, when you have uh, so much more going on within a neuron than they would? Because it's, uh, it could be holographic and, and transferred in a, in a relatively simple way. It's possible that, uh, that you could get uh, conscious information through the retina, for example. The retina isn't conscious, but it's part of the brain. And if you had, uh, it's been proposed that uh, photon echo and laser interfer interferometry through the retina might be able to interface with, with the brain at the level of quantum information. And it's- Are you it, talking about getting all the quantum information in the brain through the retina? That possibly, sounds, that, that, that possibly. Sounds... That's been proposed, whether that's possible I don't know, but I think that's much more likely than chopping the brain into a million pieces that the... Uh, that these uh, from a technological and how to do it, but I'm talking about the amount of information that you need to transmit, in your case, is, is vastly larger and more complex. Right, but if it's holographic, you just need to, uh, okay. you just need to get in one little corner okay. of it and have an access right. to it and if, give it enough if, time. If that's true. Now, ne the next question is, if you could do that, and you're saying in principle you can. Yeah. In principle you can. Now, if you can do it once, you can do it twice, right? Well, there's a no cloning uh, clause, so I don't know if you could do that uh, uh, more than once well, for the well, same who, purpose. Who's putting in that clause? Well, that's that's a law of physics that that uh, you can't clone a, a quantum system entirely. I don't know if it will apply to this. It could, but it's something to think about anyway. Wait, wait, so, so if you, if you couldn't clone it, that means you can't do it. Well, you could clone because if it. You're but, here. Well, it, it, look at it this way: if you could do it, uh, and the no cloning uh, principle holds, then I could. It, maybe download your consciousness, but then it wouldn't be there. It'd be one or the other place. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't be in both places. A actually, that, that has a certain consistency. Yes. Because in the other problem, you have multiple uh, d duplicates of exactly the same thing. Right. And then if you, if, if you have a, a twin, that's fine. But the, but the thing is that you really have this internal first-person perspective, which, which the uploading people can never deal with. Correct. It gets around a, a lot of problems, and I think makes a lot of sense. I mean, whether it's feasible or not, I don't know. But I think it's more feasible than the uh, methods we've been hearing about.